What's up, y'all? Got a family feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Carmen Boo, Big Boogie, but Corey and his play. So Chris posted a TikTok yesterday, and people felt like he was throwing shade at Clarence and Queen. Look, ladies, hear me out before y'all leave. Before y'all skip this, this is for all my ladies. If you've been dating a man, right, for more than three, four, or five years, and he still haven't asked to marry you, either two things. He don't want to really want to be with you. He like to have fun on the side. He like to do his own thing, too, or he just like the benefits that come with you. He don't want to be married. It's just like he in between. Like, he just like the perks of being with you, like, because he like... like the I just want to know who the hell put Chris in the chat. Benefits, but then on top of that, it's just like he really just don't want to be with you. He's just not in love. Because me personally, I'm not about to be with no female for more than five, six years and not marry you. That's just me personally. I'm just being honest. I'm going to be real. I'm not about to spend my life six years with a soul and not marry her. Unless I just really not, and I'm just really not in love with her. You feel me? Because I feel like if I forget with a female, I'm going a, I'm to a think highly of her. I'm going to think the world of her. I know. What we, we, I'm just saying. You feel me? What y'all think the reason why? a man would be with a female and not marry her just in general yesterday on queen video uh queen and clarence video to be exact matter of fact let me go to it if y'all want to skip it go ahead but let me find this video what oh, is the one thing y'all can understand so lit that night <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Particular kind of like food. <laughs> I'm not a. She always had them create some. You know, or I'll do a little mocktail. Waffle House. Like it's hard to miss somebody you never. You said what? To me, like I'm just kind of like bulky. See, did you just say this one time? Because uh, this was recently. I'm lying. I said this in front of you. You just it's sweaty. <laughs> this is. I get happy when I like. What's my weakness? I don't oh. know. Hold on. Okay. What's the reason I started wearing shorter nails? No. Just. Okay. You're taking too long. I think you got this one wrong. It's okay. What? Your greatest wish is a crazy. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait to do mine. Yes, I'm about to. Greatest wish? This is it. Uh, stop thinking about wish. But that's what you said, so that's what is, what, what do I wish for? What do I wish? Even your mom knows this. Like. What is it? Just tell me. To see everybody that I love together in one place. So, for those that don't know, a lot has happened in their relationship with family. Blah, blah, blah. We're not going into archives. Don't even, I ain't even trying to be negative. Um, but I, I brought that up, this up to say, it's hard to propose to a woman and you and the family still at odds. That's not, especially when a woman loves her family. You know, you forgive your family. Everybody else don't, right? So I really think it's because of that reason. And I think that he is trying to figure out how to put his pride down to, to try and connect, to be honest. Um, I think because he loved Queen so much, he wants to do that. But quite frankly, I feel like you got to be a strong person to do so, right? And I think he's trying to figure it out. So I'm going to just say that because I'm not trying to say anything negative about anybody. Uh, that part of my life is surpassed. I don't care. Uh, I, I just do know people make mistakes, yes, but some things just aren't forgivable. And it just seems like that's the reason. I could be absolutely wrong. It just seems like that's the reason. But yeah. General, like, it's a global question. This can go for men or men can answer this question or females can answer this question. What's the reason a man will be with a female for more than four or five plus years? And this nigga and just over there trolling. I don't even want to hear it no more. <laughs> Now, if you guys have been watching my previous videos, then you know that yesterday, Carmen actually went live on Instagram and exposed Corey for everything. Yes, Drea. Raffles, how he's not taking care of his other son, Aiden, and how his baby mama is hitting her up, asking her for money. Well, after that, things went further on Instagram. Now, if you guys didn't know, Corey's been sending Danny large amounts of money 
claiming that he's trying to shoot his shot. Now, I believe it was a total of about $40,000. So then Carmen goes and posts Corey's eviction from that Miami apartment. And she states here for a couple minutes, go pay these people since you want to pay someone to be your girlfriend. So then Corey goes onto Facebook and states, I sent Chastine Washington $39,000, the eviction balance in the last few days, just to show her a real N word because it hurt my heart to see your N word in her messages asking to borrow 20 K and technically I didn't get evicted. I moved out that MF -a just like anybody else would do when they want to relocate elsewhere. Now, I'm not sure what Corey meant here, but is he trying to say that Carmen's boyfriend Boogie asked Danny for $20,000? But anyways, he Hell then no. goes on to post the divorce papers that he allegedly filed. Now, Carmen was upset because on these papers, he exposed her address. She states, like, are you dumb or stupid? Oh, wait, you both. Who put the kids in <laughs> oh, danger? Oh, wait, play with you both are uh, else, but don't stupid play with that. my kids. Safety B. Then she states, exposing my address, only going to get you to hell with your skinny, long body, four eye, big teeth, big mouth ass, stupid. Thank you, though. You just sped a lot of ish up. So you guys know the Internet is having a field day with this drama. So they begin posting funny videos with Corey, Boogie, Carmen and Maddie's <sighs> face on them. Now, both Corey and Carmen reposted these videos. So it appears that Carmen. I got to react to those too. doing some trolling herself. She's not just letting Corey run with it this time she goes onto twitter and she posts this dude so lame y'all he wants to beef with a real rapper so bad oh man dang he gonna feel like he's him now i'm so weak man then carmen states lol dude is really sick for attention nobody mentioning you nobody discussing you nobody give zero yeah send me those posts uh kia f's about your ass and you know that that's why you do all of this because you internet b you know damn well you all mouth because you not about nothing lame ass dude all you do is talk then say my uncle blah 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 lol because you don't beat nobody ass but women hello Good night now carmen's man boogie and that's a fact right now also spoke out as well he stated that boy better leave me alone oh here it is here it is good so boogie said first of all the the head things was hilarious i just want y'all to know it ain't much to talk about with him so i'm not gonna make a video about it but it was hilarious boogie said that boy better leave me alone now as y'all see Corey liked it i just seen Corey liked it Corey crazy now Corey actually liked this post on facebook so now when carmen was on live she also told a story about how ftn bay pulled up at her house Dude. when Corey was cheating thank you zari for uh getting me to post they they in the you tea room video i told you that that girl show up to my house with a baseball bag yes. i have all the footage back on my phone no you was messing <laughs> with the girl what what the girl what mm, what's the girl name that had a uh 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 um uh, ah. what the baby daddy her name was bay ftn bays whatever her name was yeah she yeah. popped up to my fucking house with a baseball bat. I have the footage. I have everything on my phone. I have the footage. Because Corey was cheating on me with her. So now she has the footage. Ian Bay, a.k.a. Curly Red, has now spoke out on the situation because she's confused as to why Carmen is now bringing this to the internet. But talk about something that happened years ago? No, nah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. That I'm not going to do. And the only reason why she's saying something now is because she's not with him now but when she was with him she had his back and she knew exactly what he was doing and what he was capable of and she laughed at me oh he manipulated and mm. lied to and vulnerable which i have messages of her saying that just for her to still stand there like you look dumb that's why she didn't say nothing before because you couldn't you couldn't say oh this is what just happened and you're still there like Especially about when it's like what time this was and how they was all on social media trying to be a good perfect couple and all this type of stuff. Like it was a lot. Right. So you couldn't say anything a long time ago because you would look stupid. Everybody would look stupid. 
the whole situation was stupid. <laughs> so now you want to say something now when you're not with him no more, but don't be fake and phony when you still stood by him. I don't even think that's fake. I think she was just as scared of him as you was. That's why, I mean, all them guns that were sitting around the house, I don't understand why they never slid in one of y'all hands, but I'm just saying. I know y'all be looking at me like, damn, always a gun. Uh, bro, this nigga six feet tall. He mess with women that be four foot nothing. What you supposed to do? He come at you putting, attempting to put his hands on you. What you supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? So I just want y'all to know that's why I talk about him a lot because I just don't get it. Like, <laughs> bro, like I told y'all all the time, I treat men like guns. You know what I'm saying? Because they can literally put harm onto you. They can put harm onto each other. You know what I'm saying? So a six foot tall man putting his hands on a woman that's four feet tall. Baby, leave me alone. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Boy, I got to protect myself by any means necessary. By any means necessary. Me hitting concrete looking up at you while you putting your hands on me is really one of the biggest things I just cannot. I cannot fathom that. I can't fathom it. He don't trust nothing. Who say? You let this girl? Certain stuff. You ain't stand on nothing. And talk about women empowerment and all that God stuff and this, that, and the third. Child, please. Child, please. Which I don't know. Nothing. I don't trust her, but I, I do feel like Karma stood there. I, I, I believe that that's true, but. Because, friend, it, what Karma said that she did tell him was don't put your hands on that woman. But I think this girl feeling like, bitch, we could fight them together. I think <laughs> that's what she was thinking. And I, I don't think Karma is about that life. Nothing. I don't know nothing. If I don't know people and I don't know people from There's three girls on the, on the west side right now that are scrap one dude together. They will jump that nigga. And if you get three women with hands that, that, that could go up against one dude... I ain't saying y'all going to beat him up, but I am saying he would think twice. Unless he's a boxing guru and then you're fucked. Okay. <laughs> but outside of that, somebody and all they friends will show you not to put your hands on women. Period. I can't tell y'all what I know. Just because people sit on the internet and y'all might have known people doesn't mean that I did. I don't sit on the internet. I don't know about people on YouTube. I only know what, <laughs> I, went, I, only know what I went from what I was told. And the thing about it was both of them follow me on Instagram at the same time. Both of them wanted me to do a threesome with them. Oh, I wasn't God. on that type of time. I was told it was an open relationship. I was told that the marriage wasn't really real. It was just for citizenship because she was illegal. I was told certain things that make me be like, okay, you know, people in social media and in real life, it'd be two different stories. People be living fake lives on the internet. I'm telling you. People be living different lives in real life. I'm under the impression that this was something that was being done on the internet for views and money, and that's how they made their money. But in real life, he do whatever he wants to do, and she let him do it. She stayed with him. She don't want to leave him. So he do whatever he want to do and pay all the bills and stuff, and that's what it is. And they all have a mutual understanding. She knew about me. Everything's kaka kumbaya. <laughs> so, Kaka, come uh, I can't. I don't know. Like I don't. I can't. You just because people are lying don't mean I'm supposed to know. How am I supposed to know people are lying? Shoot, there was so much stuff that was going on that made me believe, like, okay, yeah, this might be possible. It's probably possible. I do know people that marry people for citizenship, and their marriage ain't really what it is. There's no love there or anything like that. They just do it to do it. So I, it clearly wasn't no love there. If that situation is not um unknown, like that's not a, a weird concept. And I knew that this, I knew she was a. Every niggas just walking up to people like, hey, yo, uh, you wanna have a threesome with me and my wife? a long time ago before y'all did i knew that like, i was told this <laughs> so i mean i don't know like and then when i tried to unfollow them and leave the situation alone when i realized i'm being lied to and something's weird going on she got mad at me for unfollowing her like what do you mean i don't want nothing to do with y'all like so wait really she didn't tell all did cristiano just created i'm sorry she wanted to say whatever made her look good and kumbaya whatever cool but the whole purpose of that story Story, I think was just to show that like he's that type of person that threatened people and he did and he do 
and he put out he tries to put out addresses and do a type of type of female stuff he do a lot of stuff i can sit here and talk all about this man i'm not going to do that because i don't oh, care i don't care i could have spoke about this stuff a long time ago when it happened and i didn't because i ain't going to be associated what? with it sometimes stuff just be like yeah this so lame um i don't even want nobody know about <laughs> yo Cristiano made a damn YouTube channel July 8th, 2024. And he got 35 million subscribers. Damn! I can take my I can take I can take my L's in peace. He is not paying me. That's a dang lie. <laughs> that is what? That's all I haven't spoken to them since this stuff happened. I ain't spoken to neither one of them since it happened. Once everything happened, everything was done with it, was done with it, over with, moved on. All right. I'm done with her. drama as well now if you guys didn't know Corey is constantly like doing these cash app giveaways and sending large amounts of money i mean he even sent danny that forty thousand dollars well maddie is claiming all of that is fake as well she's stating he's using some sort of app to make it look like he's sending money but he's really not oh so yeah that's what i missed was yesterday Corey being exposed for those fake car raffles now maddie is stating those cash app giveaways are fake as wow. well y'all know that there's this app y'all know that there's this app that um people be using or something like that that it's like a um i never heard of this oh actually i have never mind yo Maddie knows she be all over social media. Maddie said, I'm not doing my hair. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, I actually have it. Y'all need to go download this app, y'all. Uh -huh. app for? But y'all could probably download it and like, like make it, make it give that. Look, y'all, it's this app. It says, um, oh, I never like. Hold on, look, y'all. It's, um, uh -huh. it's fake why, cash app. Why do I yeah, keep coming on? Like you're sending money to people. And Hold on. Fake cash app. Five hundred. What? Dang. Oh no. Y'all never heard of the app? <laughs> but can y'all help me with my lashes though? Dead ass. I'm up here. Yo. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I looked up cash app. Wait. Business. Cash app spending limit. He said he had a business cash app. So business cash app spending limit. Verified personal accounts have 2,500 monthly spending cap while verified cash for business account users can spend a maximum of 7,500 daily, 15,000 weekly, and 45,000 monthly. So do what you may with. I damn sure looked it up because I said, uh, I'm like, wait a minute, Cash App got a limit. Ain't no way he out here just sending 40000 in in the same day to her. And I looked it up that night. I seen that. I'm like, well, maybe he got a loophole or something. I don't know. Girl, I don't care. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.